One of those women, I believe, was your partner in the famous Game 5 flashing mm -hmm. at the World Series. Yeah. That was pretty crazy. It was fun. <laughs> how Were you, you nervous? How did you plan that? It went into basically knowing I wanted to do something viral. Yep. Um, something around, you know, in the month of October for breast cancer. And then it went around, I love sports, and I knew that, like, obviously with the fan base being male-oriented, um, one of the sporting event would probably be the best idea to do something. And then it went into um, knowing where cameras were placed. And what sporting event do you know where the cameras are, where they are yep. all the yep. time? Yep. So football is out of question, obviously. Um, there was a couple different ideas, and then it came down to baseball. So it was like, you always know baseball is going to be, the camera's always going to be pointed towards the batter. So what is the biggest sporting event in baseball? The World okay, Series. Yeah. So came down to planning out the World Series, knowing, you know, behind home plate, uh, home plate and just kind of rolling with that. Didn't know who was going to be in the World Series, how we were exactly going to do it. But how did you know the camera was on you? So we actually did it. We did a lot of research. And we were watching um, the first couple of games and we knew that the cameras, the, our tickets were right behind home plate, like right on the edge to where mm. the camera would have been like cut off right at us. Yeah. So when we actually got there, security came down and they were like, we know who you are. We had, sh we were stupid. But we had shag mag shirts just to be like sitting like because you could see shag mag. What? Like I didn't think they would like. Well, you wanted to get two marketing plays. There you out go. Of it. Yeah. The shirt first, For then the tits. Yeah. Down there, like, we know who you are. We like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna do some funny business here? <laughs> so yeah, they basically came down like, listen, we know who you are. We need you to put your jackets on. And I was like, okay, no problem. Put our jackets on. Um, we're on the phone with some of our friend, um, like friends and family that were watching the game, and they had purposely shifted over the cameras. So now we were off camera oh. so they had moved our seats over to where we were just off camera and so we we're like we kind of gave it a couple innings to see if they would kind of go back and like give us another shot they didn't so it came down to like I, I remember watching the games and there was a staircase that was always on camera mm -hmm. on the other side so I was like listen this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the bathroom we're gonna drape our jackets and act like we're just you know going to the bathroom coming back and we're just gonna book it for the stairs and you're gonna get as far down the stairs as you can throw your jackets off and throw your shirts up You've you've weaponized your breasts. <laughs> Were you nervous? I'm more anxious. I wasn't nervous. It was more of like, is this gonna go as planned? Is it gonna air? Is you know, are they gonna switch the cameras at the perfect time? Sure. Like, it was more of an anxious feeling of like, is it gonna go as planned or is it gonna not do anything? You know. It did. I, I it, told, did I, I, it did something. It did something. It went <laughs> as uh, everybody who knows about this event knows. It went absolutely fucking mega viral. Yeah. And I mean, was that the biggest kind of? Uh, public ploy that you've done for Shag, I would say it was probably yeah the for Shag Mag, yeah, hundred percent, right? yeah.